Why do I have to do everything? You have done nothing since I've been home except stand up and walk. We start running out of time because the competition is coming soon. That cost him at least eight points. Right now, I am very upset with myself and I'm very disappointed. We're imploded in the short program. Johnny Weir is really at a crossroads. I absolutely hate every second that I spend on the ice right now. I am spent. It's spring and the beginning of the off season, but there will be no rest for me. Last season ended in disaster. One bad performance at nationals, and I was left off the US team for the world championships. I was humiliated. I have to figure out what went wrong and how to fix it, because next season is the big one. It's the Olympics in 2010, and my last chance to compete there. And just when I thought I couldn't get any more stress, it's time to go. My best friend Paris moved out. We never really got on each other's nerves, but occasionally just living with someone, you know, it's kind of hard. I, I was very upset because he, he acted like like a bitch and that none of this was of his own doing. He wanted to live in New York City and uh, I can't afford that big of an apartment on my own. So I had to move two floors down. You didn't want to move the pictures where they go yet? No, because... John, breathe, honey. He sprung it on me at a very, very bad time. I was due to leave for Korea the day after he told me that he was moving out. Paris basically gave us a three to four day turnaround. So it was up to John, his dad and I to go up and get him moved. This is boots. This is my idea of hell. I can't find anything. I don't know where anything goes. I miss the Ritz Carlton. I feel completely out of control of my own life. John. He's pouting. Look, get him, John. Well, no, it's just if I had been here, I would have known where everything was and what box things were in. Well, but thank you, roommate. It's his. It's his fault. It's his fault that this happened like this. Oh yeah. Don't be taking up for Paris and slamming on your mom and dad. Absolutely not. Okay. All Pull right. your britches up. You're driving me crazy. Patty has not many nice words about Paris right now, which is hard because I'm in the middle. I hate these pillows. I can't even sit down on the goddamn couch. Paris was not contributing to household expenses. I miss the decadent furniture, I miss the cooking. I definitely took care of him very well, like, like a mother. But I think that now it's the Olympic season, you know, you have to like buckle down, it's gonna be very neurotic. But I think in the long run, Johnny will realize that this is, is much better off this way, that it's gonna be quieter and easier for him to focus. We'll be fine eventually, it just, it's still fresh enough that it makes me angry. I'm still training every day with Galena, but the off-season is when I earn my living, which is crucial this year, now that I have to live alone, because as usual, I'm broke. Skating is a very expensive sport. For example, July. I had to pay a costumer. I had to pay Galena for coaching. I had to pay my rent, my phone, groceries, plus helping to take care of my family back in Delaware. I'm sure it's probably into the 80s or $90,000 a year. And all of that I have to pay myself. I mean, I get a little help from the US Figure Skating Federation and winning medals at competitions and earning prize money. But if I didn't do all of these shows and things, I would not be able to skate. I usually perform in 10 or 11 big shows every year. And in general, they're abroad in, in Asia, Russia, or in Europe. It's great to see my fans and to earn some money. I can make anywhere between three and $10,000 per appearance, but I do not have a very good business mind, so it's important that I have an amazing agent. Are you gonna ever tell me like what Johnny needs to skate to for your show, or we're just gonna show up and guess? 
Tara is my agent. I call her my agentress. I'm kind of like the fun part of skating. You know, you work hard, work hard, work hard, and then you get to play. Okay, we're, we're, we're running faster, bye. And as an athlete or an entertainer, the playtime is the media. You just can't imagine what it's going to be like come February. The red carpet events, the sponsorships, the photo shoots. And then you can superimpose like a city scene under me and I can be flying and love it. <laughs> All the extras make the athlete more marketable and more famous and that leads to the second job of the agent which is to make the athlete money. We're casting the Lake Placid summer shows. For Johnny specifically, he has very special requirements. He doesn't want to stay in the hotel he stayed last year. There's no room service. The challenges in representing Johnny Weir. Ugh. Johnny is his own person and you have to market to media, market to <laughs> clients who get it. Oh my God, I have so many things. I don't know what to pack. I mean, everything is everywhere. I can't even focus right now. Can you take a message? When the skating season ends in March, Tara starts booking me for shows and appearances. This is the time to earn money to pay for next season. Johnny doesn't have an off season. He goes from Worlds to do whatever shows he's been invited to do. Galena, on the other hand, does vacation. So she's gone a good month. When Galena goes away on vacation, it's kind of a small breath. Well, it's more of a gasp of air from the rest of us. I would say I'm at times afraid of Galena. I wouldn't mess with her. What about this cover? Does it make you want to read it? Look how horrible Jessica Simpson looks. Johnny, honey. What? You really need to stop reading while you're driving. I don't like that Katie Holmes. No reading magazines while you're chauffeuring me around. She'll start to feel pukey. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going on this? We're going to Lake Placid, so my true. favorite place in the whole wide world. And Johnny loves it there too. Johnny doesn't love it there, but Johnny goes there. <laughs> <laughs> I love going on trips. It's not clean enough to drink, but I don't like to go away with Galena. Galena is very controlling. But with Tara, it's a little bit more fun. She enjoys herself, I enjoy myself, and I definitely enjoy having her there as company. You got three, I got two. I'm gonna beat ya, you're only five ahead, watch it. It's hard with Johnny, because I am his friend and his agent. You smell like brisket. Sometimes his filter is less than filtering. You know what, Tara? I'm gonna shove this stick so far up your cooch, you're never gonna wanna have sex again. I <laughs> guess. Okay. I would never talk to Galena the way that I talk to Tara. Tara, I can put my face 10 inches into her boobs and she's fine. Galena, I cannot imagine being anywhere near that bosom. I got two. You got four. Still kicking your ass. After a strenuous day on the golf course, I'm ready for my show. When Johnny skates his technical programs, he has to focus and do what he does. And when he does his show programs, he has to be himself and enjoy it because Johnny is a performer as much as he is an athlete. I think the audience feels like they're with you on the dance floor. Nice way of putting it, Tara. <laughs> I do. I, I feel like I'm dancing with you. And that's because you do dance with me. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. I do dance with you. And I get to wear makeup. Well, more makeup than usual. <laughs> I respect Johnny for everything that he is and everything that he wants to be. I'm a very broad-minded, open-minded person. Look here for a second. Sexy mama! Oh, but I think Johnny is outrageous 90% of the time. No! <laughs> Absolutely outrageous. It's just for me, it's my camera. <laughs> One, two. You know, I'm really excited when my family can get to see the behind the scenes of my of my show. This is a backstage view, Johnny, like they've never seen. Unscripted triple X. No, Sarah. Okay, honey. <laughs> Wait, that's funny here. A mother's love. <laughs> For the last two years, I was saying to myself, like, where's the Johnny in Johnny? Because I think that when he first changed coaches, you saw more concentration, but there was something missing. There was that Johnny spark. A show program generally has more of my personal style in it. It's not as structured as a competitive number. I like skating in shows because there's a lot more freedom. 
there aren't rules, you can do the things you're good at. You don't have to do everything. So now I really relish the chance to perform in exhibitions and, and really perform and show my strengths. I think maybe I realize that the Johnny and Johnny that I'm missing when he skates in his technical program is what he has when he does his show program. So maybe part of that showmanship quality is what he could use in competition to, to bring that back. And the bottom line is, the better he does in competition, the easier my job is, and the more money he makes. The 2009-2010 season is three months away, and I'm starting to get anxious. Last year ended so badly with my terrible performances at nationals and losing a spot on the world team. It's time to start planning my comeback. Meanwhile, Tara's keeping me busy, so at least I'm not worrying about money quite as much. Tara, I need you to go through my schedule with me because I need to make sure Galena's gonna be okay with everything. Everyone needs to be on the same page. Okay. To start off, you're gonna do a seminar in Long Island with I the don't kids. like that. You're gonna do it. You love kids. You're a great teacher, even though you don't admit it. Well, I love, I love children, but I mean Long Island. I'm from Long Island. And? Choctaw. Change feet. Waltz jump. Power pull. Choctaw. Change feet. Point your toe, not down with the eyes, huh? Johnny is so good with kids. He looks at the children, he listens to them, he captivates their attention, and they captivate his attention. It's better. Just keep your tummy strong, so when you land, you can still spin. Like, you're kind of trying to squeeze yourself back into a tube of toothpaste after you got spit out already. Now, if those aren't words of advice to keep with you forever, I don't know what are. <laughs> you have to make sure you use all of your strength to get up into the air. I love being around kids. Axles, please. I can see so many different personalities, so much love of this sport. It's really inspiring. Do you want to do double axle? I'll watch. Good. Ooh, you okay? It's just you're too loose. And you're a taller girl. Like, I was a taller girl, too, once. And I had to, like, learn to be comfortable with being longer legs, longer arms, everything. How many times have we fallen on the ice? Millions and millions of times. We know what it feels like. I mean, don't be scared ever to fall down. It's like when they say, if you were sad all the time, you wouldn't know what happy was. Like, you have to fall to be able to land, so just go for it. Yes! I hear myself talking to these girls, and I realize that I need to take a dose of my own medicine. I've been focusing so much on the hard work and not on the love of it. Perfect. We're done, ladies. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for being such good sports. Hi, Mama. Hey, honey, how are you? When I make any big decision, I call my mom. She helps me make the best decisions. I decided that it's probably not the best idea to work with Galena and Nina again on the choreography this season. Last year, there was so much drama and so much animosity between the, the circle of people. It was really not productive for anybody. Knowing the problems that we had last year, choreographing two programs, all of us together, I think he needs something exciting, new. He needs to get away from all of, all of us, maybe. I want somebody that can inspire me when I go on the ice and make me feel like myself when I'm out there. Okay, do, uh, do you have any ideas who you want to work with? I think David Wilson will be the best one. David Wilson's one of the probably top five choreographers in the world right now, and he's choreographed for world champions like Yuna Kim and Jeffrey Buttle. It's gonna be good for Johnny. We still work together on show pieces, and so for me, it's not a problem at all because I do respect going different directions in choreography. It's like you put on different clothes every day. You have one style, you have other style. The only thing I'm worried about with David is that it's gonna be really expensive. If that's what you wanna do, I mean, we'll, f we'll find a way. I mean, you're doing a few shows this summer, so We'll figure it out. Having a child that figure skates is to realize as a parent that you will no longer 
have a retirement fund. My family and I have both given up so much and it, it's so important that I do well this season and set myself up for later in life that I need to take this risk. Okay. Well, listen, I'll call All you right. tonight. I love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. I need everything to go into my career right now so that I can have the proper vehicle to go to the Olympics with. And working with David is very important because he can, he can give me that. This is really my last chance, financially strapping or not. Johnny is, he's such a beautiful skater. He's so lyrical and he's so balletic in such a easy kind of unstudied way. I mean, that's basically my inspiration, I guess. David as a person is very eccentric. <laughs> it makes it very fun because he's very unexpected. And, oh, that's perfect. I wanted somebody to give me a story that I could relate to and, and David definitely does that. Oh good, that was better. It's a birds of a feather kind of, you know, you speak my language kind of thing happens. I love that. <laughs> you were like, oh, excuse me. It was like a little Broadway moment. All of the people around him, like his mother, like his agent, um, they've been all looking at me with these big, big eyes like, oh, God. oh, please put the Johnny back in, Johnny. So I like how you finished there. What about if you just did like an ass circle? Arch your back, dear life. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. I like that. That'll get more of a rise. Our aesthetics are a little bit different. He's very modern. I'm a little bit more old school, but he lets me move. He's been able to bring me out in a new light, but at the same time, he's not changing the way that I work and the way that I skate. I really think that everyone will love this piece. It'll give him the chance to shake his booty, have a little fun, you know, and, and use his sense of humor and enjoy himself out there. Oh, that's beautiful, Johnny. Happy choreographer. <laughs> I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled I'm too. You sweated for me, eh? You don't usually sweat for people. You sweat for Galena? Yes. I worry very much about going home and showing Galena everything and starting to train and her changing things just so that she had some power over it because Galena at the end of the day is a control freak. I hope I don't get home and Galena goes, how could That's, she? I don't think she could, but I mean, it's my worst fear that she's just gonna do that. Oh, God. I mean, she likes music, very professional. Better than Russia, very professional. <laughs> the Russian way is the Russian way, and they like to do things their way. But I think his strength of character lies in his charisma, and then he'll find his competitiveness when he brings that to the ice in competition. Oh, honey, you were just on fire today. I think we got the Johnny back in Johnny. So. The Johnny's back in Johnny! <laughs> I'm back in New York and I need a fabulous new look to go with my amazing new choreography. How you doing? <laughs> When a client designs their own costumes, you're never quite sure what's gonna walk in the door. It, I wanted the body to look very sleek and very skinny and very black, and then the corset to give it kind of the, like, pizzazz of it and make it a little bit sexy, and we'll do hot pink cords that connect the corsety thing. Galena and I have very different styles and tastes when it comes to costumes. If she decides that something needs to be changed, she'll make everyone's life hell around her until it's changed. That works. And what do you think about doing like a little opening the whole way down that arm from the top of the neck? Certainly. Are we going to line this in the pink? Yeah, I think black gloves with a hot pink stripe down the one finger. All right, I'm happy. So I should come out and you should skate in it here. Yeah, a corset with a hot pink tassel might be a little bit over the top and risque for a man, but it works for me. Yeah. Now I'm ready to take on Galena. It's September and only a few weeks from my first competition of the season at the Cup of Russia. And Galena is cracking the whip. 
two weeks or three weeks out from the competition, you would do the absolute maximum, and then you taper a little bit so you have the energy to come up again for the competition. So this week is killing me. Uh huh. You ready? She's come in smiling and bearing gifts. That can only mean one thing. She wants something. My guess is it's to get her well manicured hands all over my new choreography. Alina is always putting a hand on everything she sees around her. She's just a strong person. If she doesn't do it, it's not Galina. This is where I, what, 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 my recommendation. This little bit more upper body, what, what beginning. But like you make it circle there. With Galena, I haven't formulated a plan on how I'm going to make her accept everything that David did for me and the choreography that we made together, because I know she's going to want to change everything and she's going to be a diva about it. But I'm determined to keep at least one ass swivel. I think I should do something to the side. А ты можешь не как-то так, чтобы вот как ты разминаешься, лучше, чтобы они плечи. Galena keeps moving the swivel up from my ass to my shoulders. I guess it's more masculine. I love it, this is better. I don't think it's unfair to say that I take the best of masculinity and femininity and put it together in some kind of Johnny Weir mixture. I don't skate like a man's man, so I'm not really going to be able to pull off a sort of brave heart kind of thing. I think at this point Galena sort of accepted the way I skate, but there are times when I know she tries to make me look stronger. In that way, I suppose you can say we're working to look a little bit more masculine. Nothing. The ass swivels are gone. Johnny's like her baby, her student. Of course she'll put a stamp on it. <laughs> Galena may have won the first round. Hopefully I'll win the second round, which is going to be all about the pink costume. Just trying to change every footwork sequence and all the programs two weeks before we have to leave. Just make sure everything's straight and looks as good as possible before I walk out there, because she's going to judge. I, I really like it like this, naked on top. I think it's interesting. Okay, maybe we skate. Well, yeah. Maybe we skate. Galena's the boss, so Galena has a very big percentage of the say in everything that I do. But I think I can maybe persuade her. I like it a lot. Okay. I love it. I love it. That was good. Yeah. Good. She was happy. I'm excited. So it came out exactly like I want. Round two to me. I'm really glad I was able to stand up to her about something, even if it was just my costume. <sighs> I feel like everything's starting to go according to plan now. My house is finally unpacked and perfect. And I'm free to be as compulsively neat as I like. I have skating clothes every day and real people clothes every day and workout clothes. And I vacuum so the carpet has lines in it when I come back from the rink. Every remote controller, every shoe, every sock has a place. And if I didn't live like that, I think I'd go nuts. It's going to be a really hard year on me physically and emotionally and getting myself on track for the season. And now that I live alone, I see that I'm good when I'm alone. I'm, I'm comfortable alone. I can sit and do lots of things all by myself. Sex included. Welcome to Moscow. Thanks for having me come. Oh. Galena isn't used to family traveling with her skaters. She'll be nice to you guys and then she'll turn around and she'll attack the f out of me. Plachenko's coming back. He does quads in his sleep. It feels great. I want to beat him, but Galina is very worried and very nervous. Maybe I just don't have the brain to do this anymore. 